Hello, my name is Drew Regner with Connect Tribe Bent Steam Academy, and today we're going to be making a drumstick for the drum. So, in your kit, you're going to get a fiberglass rod, you're going to get a piece of parachute cord, and you're going to get a large thing of electrical tape and a small colored electrical tape. With those, we're going to make the basis of the drum kit. Then, you're going to get a piece of leather that we're going to cover the handle and the drum head so you have a nice drumstick for your drum. We'll begin with the rope. This rope is going to be the base for your handle and the base for the drum head. So I like taking your rope and I put a little bit going down with a little tail so you can grab it. Then I make a loop going the other way. So it's just really a loop about six inches long they put on there. Now, I'm going to start at this end, and I'm going to hold in my left hand the drumstick in that loop, and I'm going to just wrap tightly the parachute cord going up, going over those pieces, making sure they stay laid down. Now, I go so that my hand fits over it. You don't really need more than your hand. And then we put the tail end through this little loop. So there's a little loop remaining. Put our tail end right through there. And then we hold that. And then you can either grab this end, have your parents grab it. Sometimes two people help. You use a pair of pliers, that's what I'm using on this one. And you can see as I pull, this loop starts to disappear. And there's our handle. Now you can trim these ends or you can wrap them up if you want, make them a little bit bigger. This is one way to do the handle. I'm going to show you a second way that I don't think makes as nice of a handle, but it's a little bit easier. Second way to make the handle. We're going to start with however much thread you want for your hand to fit on. You're going to hold that in your left hand, then you're just going to wrap up, up to the top of it, and then we're going to make overhand knots. So I make a large loop, put my thread through. Then I make a large loop, put my thread through. Large loop, I'm just going to keep doing this till my thread is gone or until you think you've done it enough. That's the last knot I can do. So maybe try to get one more knot in there. There we go. Now, don't worry that it's coming out. You can take some of your electrical tape, put it over it and start taping it down. So when I get down to the bottom, I just pull it tight and it sort of wraps around. Push that part down, pull it tight, push it down. Then we go back up again. Practicing on wrapping nicely so we don't get any bubbles. Cause that will help when we wrap up the shaft of this. Then I'm going to wrap up a little ways. I'm trying to wrap this so it's nice and tight and overlaps. I don't have any orange. I'm going to wrap up to the top. Try not to get any little bubbles or creases. Okay. Once we get up here, I'll use my scissors, cut it. Here's a trick to keep your tape nice while you're taping. You need to get a new piece. Fold the end over when you're done. That way you can just grab it and it pulls up. Okay, there's our handle. We need to make the drum head. We take our rope, make sure there's no knots in it. We can do the same kind of drumstick that we did on the other one. You can either do your large loop 
and go down and up. Or you can just start wrapping. So you can wrap up, wrap back down. Or you can start wrapping this way, wrap down and wrap back up. I like going this way. Put my tail out and then go back. So we have that loop. That's my favorite way, but we'll do it the easiest way. Your drum head, if this is my handle, you want it to be about two thirds of your handle. So there's that much, there's about half of it, two thirds is about there. So we want about that much of our drumstick to be our drum head. So about right there. I'm going to start wrapping. I just wrapped over that line. And I wrap almost to the top. And now I'm going to start wrapping back on itself. And there's many ways to do this. This makes a little bit harder of a drumstick. If you want a softer drumstick, you could use cloth, you could use torn up material like fleece. Uh, there's foam ones. There's a lot of different materials you can use. Okay, now we're going to do two rounds. If you want a little bit thicker, you could do another round and wrap it all the way up. But we're just going to do this. And what I normally do is I go down to the bottom and I just tie an overhand knot. So I make a loop, put the thread through it, pull it tight. Now, instead of doing a lot of these, this one just sort of adds a little decorative place. It's sort of nice, you can put your thumb in it. We're just going to do one hole right there, and then we're going to cut this little tail off. And get our tape right away, and then we're going to tape over this entire thing. And I'm not even going to worry about that little tail right now. I'm just going to tape around it like that and then tape back down. And if you're having trouble tape, get your adult supervision, an adult in your life, an older brother, older sister, aunt, uncle, cousin, whoever, to help you tape. We just taped it all the way back down to the bottom and we're going to cut that Remember, fold your tape over. And then, put your little piece of tape. Now this little piece, you can just trim off. There's our drumstick. Now, you can leave it completely black if you want to, or you can use your colored piece of tape to add some color along these. I'm just going to add some little stripes. So, there's just a little stripe. I'll add another little stripe. If you want different colors, this tape was bought at Home Depot or Lowe's or AIH. You could probably even get some at Walmart. So you can choose different colors if you want to. So there's those. I'll do one down here too, or up at the top. Just laying the tape right over itself. If you want to do a twist pattern, I'm going to start sort of doing a stripe here. Then I'm going to angle my electrical tape down. And just do a little stripe and then angle my electrical tape sideways. And we'll do that. And then I'm going to go up, angle it up, and it gives us some little boxes. And sideways, and cut. There's my drumstick. So there's some little diamond squares, rectangles, whatever you want to call them, and some stripes. To decorate your drumstick how you want to decorate it. Next step is going to be sewing some leather over the drum head and sewing some leather over the handle.
So now that we've completed tape wrapping our drumstick, we are going to use the two leather pieces, the long rectangular one with a narrow tip and wider end is going to be for the handle. There's a little bit extra so you can cut it and make some fringe for your drumstick. And this one will go around the top of your drumstick like that. So it'll be covered with drum, help protect the drum head. Should also either have a needle, a new needle in your kit, or a needle from when you were sewing your beaver fur mittens, and two pieces of sinew. So if you have one big piece of sinew, make sure to split that in half. Thread your needle. I'm going to pull the thread all the way through and tie the ends together. So here's the two ends. I'm going to tie them into a knot and I'm going to tie a figure eight knot, which means I'm going to make a figure eight, like so, and I'm going to put the end through. And it gives you a figure eight, like that. And pull that tight. You can also just do an overhand knot. If you don't like doing fancier knots, you can do an overhand knot, that will work also. Just try and tie those two pieces together. I'm going to start with the handle. One end is a little bit narrower than the other end. This is the end that goes right at the top of your rope. I use the needle, and if you have your thimble still, you can use your thimble, and we punch it through one side of the thread, we pull it through, and I put it through the two threads, so it's in between the thread and the knot. That's what secures my thread in. Now I'm going to do a zigzag stitch. I'm just going to go to the inside of the leather on the other side, push my needle through, and I'm going to pull that tight. And push it a little bit up above my rope. Now, use the needle. I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to go on the inside, push my needle through, and I'm about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch down from my other hole. Push it through, make sure you're watching out for your fingers, because this one is really, really sharp, and your fingers are pretty much leather also. So if it goes through leather, it goes through your finger. Okay. Now, when you get down the, to the bottom, there's a couple things you could do. You can either cut along this in a little arc and sew all the way around if you don't want fringe. Or if you want fringe, what I like doing is I like going through the leather to the other side, back through, and wrapping it. So I'm going to go through the leather here, all the way across and push it through, like that. And then I'll wrap it halfway. Then I'll go through the leather. And I'll wrap it back this way. Then I'll push it through, making sure I don't have my fingers. Once I do that a couple times, I can just wrap it around. And then, one last time through with the needle. And I'm going to tie my knot with that loop. Just going to go around the loop. Pull it tight. And go around through it one more time. Pull it tight. Now, you can cut the thread. I normally leave a little bit of a tag and see if there's somebody at your house that can use a lighter. So get an adult, use a lighter and light this down and it will go down and can be mushed in with a lighter. So I dip my finger in the water a little bit and then I can mush that in like that. Or you can use your lighter. And Mush it in. Now that knot is not going anywhere. Now we take scissors. You should have some big red shears from doing your beaver fur mittens. And you can trim this leather. You can use your scissors. 
and trim just up to the thread. I left about a quarter of an inch. I'm just gonna make nice parallel cuts to give us little bits of fringe, about a quarter of an inch wide. Or for metric users, about five millimeters. There's a fringe. If you want to be fancy, you can make them even smaller. Just be careful because if you make them smaller, they could rip easier. But you could cut those in half so you have smaller fringe like that. So there's our handle. Let's reset your needle, pull our old thread out and you can throw that away. Thread our new thread, pull it through so it's the ends meet up. Tie your knot. So figure eight, I go over, around, and through the hole. Like so. So this side goes through this hole, this side goes through this hole the opposite way. We pull it tight. It gives us a nice little knot. Can trim the end. We take our top part for the drumstick. And you can start on either end of this one. I like starting from this top corner, going around, putting through the first time, like this. And then I like going through my thread and that knot. Like so. Now I start from going the inside. It doesn't matter if you go this way or this way. down over where you're sewing every once in a while and watch out for your fingers. As you reach the end of your leather, I like doing the same thing we did at the bottom and wrapping it. So here I'm almost at the last stitch. I have two more stitches to go. One right at this corner. Careful with this corner because it could pinch you or poke you. If you notice, my leather wasn't quite big enough right there, so I have a little bit of a gap. That's okay. So from here, what I like doing is I like wrapping it, but before I wrap it, I go through and I push the needle in to the leather and then out of the leather. So it gives it a little bit of a cinch. And I'll push it in here, and out right there, about half an inch. Just to close it up a little bit. Taking my sinew, wrapping around at the base until I can tie a knot. Leave yourself enough room that you can tie a knot or two. Cut your needle off with a little bit of thread left. Once again, find an adult or guardian and light this part on fire. Let it go to the end, and then you can use the end of the lighter to smush it in. Now, what I like doing after that is take the little colored tape that you were given, and use the end, and I go over the last bit of leather. And just cover that up. So it covers up your thread end, extra security and if that starts to wear away just retape it a little bit and you have your drumstick so now go play the drum